everybody, it's Amanda, and it's week four of Food Diaries. So we are in the final stretch. I'm only doing four weeks right now. Right now. I'm not saying I'm not gonna do them again, but I'm only doing four weeks just to see how much we've spent over the last four weeks. Hopefully we've improved. If we have not, maybe I'll keep doing it. <laughs> but I do have a menu plan that I created last week and let me show it to you. You wanna check out that video for more details, but here we are, right? And we are on, what are we on, Wednesday. Mm, see it? You see the details. So, tonight we're having meatloaf and I already have the ground beef and the ground turkey out. And um, it's, it's already ready. I'm making a double batch of mashed potatoes today and some kale, although I don't have any kale so it might be spinach. But, actually I might have some kale. I gotta see what I got left. So, Either way, we're gonna use what we have in the house. I am going grocery shopping today, but I'm keeping it minimal. Um, we already, Rick and I have been out and about. It is literally like noon, but we have already been out and about today. I had to go get my car worked on. We had to go pick up our tax paperwork, and we went down to the discount store down the road, and we had a couple other little errands. Um, but that's not my main discount store. It's a little discount store, and I only spent $4, but that's gonna be on another video. So you gotta, you gotta wait for my grocery haul to see that because that's our main grocery haul of the week. So we're taking that discount visit and then we're going to our main discount store here after lunch, but we did come home to eat lunch, even though it's our day off, because we're really trying to be good about spending money. So here's what we have for lunch. I gave Rick about a thousand options and he said he wanted tuna. <laughs> so He's also making coffee if you can hear it in the background. There's the bread, there's the tuna. And I threw some french fries in the oven. Don't ask me why. What he actually wants is tuna fries and an egg sandwich. He wants a tuna sandwich and an egg sandwich. The combo. I don't know why. I'm just having eggs and bacon and some more pumpkin pancakes. I made the pumpkin pancakes in the last video or the last food diaries. So, and, and I also made the bacon in the last one. So this is the last of the bacon. Um, we still have a bunch of eggs and the pumpkin pancakes and I'm just, I'm just having like a breakfasty sort of thing. So that's what I'm doing. I think he saw that I was making eggs and he was like, I want eggs. So, and then I might have some fries cause we don't have any more hash browns. <laughs> so, Anyway, um, that's what we're gonna have for lunch and then we're heading out, like I said, to the discount store and I'll be making that meatloaf for dinner. Rick also wanted me to make some rolls and I might make some rolls later. I do have a recipe for the rolls somewhere on the channel. Make sure I link it somewhere in this video. <laughs> but, but anyway, that's what we are doing today. And tomorrow it's going to be our regular stuff and leftovers and that's how we're doing it. So. I'm trying, I'm really trying to stay on track. This is the last week. Hopefully we spend as little as possible because I really want to keep it under the thousand dollars that we spent in February for two people. And that includes eating out. I'm gonna include all the numbers. There will be a reckoning. I will go over all the numbers with you all at that point. So let's get through this week and then we'll have a follow-up video with all the totals. I'm really hoping it works out. So let me make this lunch. Rick talked me into a sandwich because <laughs> his looks so good. So he likes his dry and I like mine runny and that's the difference between the two of us. <laughs> so um, I'm still gonna go ahead and make the bacon. And I might even put the bacon on the sandwich, why not? And I don't know if I'm gonna have pancakes or not. Um, I think probably this with the fries will be more than enough. So um, anyway, but I'm gonna make his tuna sandwich now. So water, green goodness bacon, egg sandwich. He's got an egg sandwich and tuna. We're gonna eat our sandwiches while they're hot and then we're gonna eat the fries. <laughs> so they're in the oven and they still got a few more minutes but we're hungry. So we're gonna eat this now and then that's it. We'll see you guys at dinner. It's dinner time and I have got everything out to make this meatloaf. I can't make it in front of you because my hands are gonna get dirty. <laughs> just gonna be too complicated but I'm gonna show you the bowl and I'm gonna show you my two pamper chef pans my oven's on 350 it's gonna take like an hour hour 15 minutes or so let me show it to you there's the mix it doesn't look pretty but I am going to take that and I'm going to 
uh, mush it up with my hands the old-fashioned way and I'm going to put it in my beautiful paper chef pans so I'm gonna get ready to be about this and then like I said it's gonna cook for hour hour and a half I have some dishes that I have to dry and put away and I'm also going to peel some potatoes get them like real potatoes get them made and I forget what my green was but I'm gonna make some kind of green <laughs> and we're gonna have that for dinner and, uh, and we have some leftover mac and cheese too so I think we're all set for tonight and that's that so maybe I'll make maybe I'll make some rolls maybe I don't know there's a lot that I've got to do and it's only an hour I don't, I don't know if that's happening but yeah let me get this meatloaf okay it is 7 p.m. and I'm still working on it I just got potatoes on the stove so that's gonna be another half hour, probably 7.30 by the time we eat. The meatloaf is just about done cooking. It probably needs another 15 minutes and then it'll be, you know, cooling down. So I have the leftover um, mac and cheese and I'm gonna make some gravy too to go with the meatloaf. And I, I always make it with gravy rather than the tomato paste top. It's just how I do it. And so meatloaf, gravy, potatoes, mac and cheese and then we have some mixed vegetables left over so i think i'm probably gonna end up making that and um that'll be dinner so i'm making i'm hoping this will be a double batch so we'll have one tonight and then the other one tomorrow and that way and i'm hoping there's enough potatoes for tomorrow too because we're working tuesdays and thursdays are long days so hopefully this will last for two meals not the mac and cheese <laughs> but the meatloaf the potatoes maybe the gravy and we'll have some other vegetable because we have loads of vegetables so that's what we're working on tonight and i'm almost done it's just it's just time now I just gotta wait for it so let me get it done okay so the meatloaf is done mixed vegetables are cooking gravy's on potatoes are finishing up macaroni is heated up and I just took the chicken out to throw in the oven because the oven's already hot for tomorrow's um, sandwiches. So this is going in the oven and we're finishing up dinner. Look at these mashed potatoes. They look some kind of good and they actually taste really good too. However, I will tell you this. My husband does like my mashed potatoes. However, given the choice between mine and Trey's, even though Trey's potatoes are vegan, he loves Trey's potatoes. <laughs> he always wants Trey to make the potatoes when we go to any kind of family function. So I'm just throwing that, that out there. I keep telling him he needs to make a video on it, but Trey makes really good vegan potatoes. These have sour cream and butter in it though. Here we go. This is dinner tonight and we are going to eat it at like eight o'clock. <laughs> so we're gonna eat. We're starting today with breakfast. I have a cheese stick and a banana, and then these are some office snacks that I got in my haul. They are peanut butter crackers, which of course Rick's allergic, so the package still sealed is going to my job. These are our lunch sandwiches, water's in the bag, and I'm probably going to, I don't know if I'm going to throw in some pretzels or not, I might, but lunch is made today, and it was only one of the four chicken breasts. So that means we get half a large chicken breast, Usually, and usually it is one chicken breast, so we get half a large chicken breast for lunch, which I think is a good amount of protein, frankly. So I'm going to um, toss this in the bag and we're heading out and I'll see you dinner. Leftovers tonight. Hey everybody, it is, I don't even know what time it is. It's like a little after six and we got home a few minutes ago and I've gotten everything started for dinner. So I'll show you what we have. All right, so meatloaf in the oven, getting reheated. Green beans, mashed potatoes, and we decided to make some pasta because we didn't have as much mashed potatoes left as we thought. So we'll make this and we'll have it extra. And I've been doing a really, really good job of sticking to my menu plan. And I was actually really excited about tomorrow's menu plan meal, which is, by the way, let me see. Tomorrow's supposed to be cheesy ground turkey tortillas with corn and salsa. I, I actually was kind of really excited about kind of a salsa Hispanic kind of meal. But anyway, Brianna has been begging me to make her a chicken pot pie. And I happen to be off tomorrow in such a way that I could make the pie in the morning and take it to her when she gets off work. So I was gonna make her a chicken pot pie and when I told Rick I was gonna make her a chicken pot pie, he said, we'll make us one too. <laughs> so um, because of that, I'm actually gonna have to go to the store. I'm not going till tomorrow. 
Um, but I'm gonna have to run to the store and get another can of cream and chicken soup and probably some au gratin potatoes because that's what, that's what I use in the one that she remembers. So I'm gonna go ahead and plan that for tomorrow. We'll have one, she'll have one, and you know, that'll be dinner for us for tomorrow. And, uh, and so plan on having a little tiny grocery haul in the morning and me making that in the morning for dinner. For lunch though, I'm gonna make Rick, of course, sandwiches as usual, but I'm gonna eat up one of my soups that I made the other week and I froze. So good plans but this is the thing about plans they always need to be flexible which is great because i can actually move that i think what i'm going to do is move that um turkey tortillas to the next night and then move what i had on saturday which was turkey meatballs uh baked potatoes mac and cheese gravy mixed veg i'm just going to take that off the menu because it's actually kind of similar <laughs> to all the other stuff we've been having like right now we're having potatoes and vegetables and all that so i can just take that off the list and it won't even feel like we're missing anything so done, easy, moving on. But anyway, I'm gonna finish making up these leftovers. They should be done any minute and we'll make a plate. I'll show it to you and we're gonna eat and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. So fancy, fancy leftovers, that's dinner tonight. <laughs> All right, here is our dinner plate already for night two, not too shabby for leftovers. So we're getting ready to eat. That'll be it for tonight and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, good morning. I am going to make chicken pot pie today for Brianna and for our dinner. Brianna requested it, um, my daughter by the way. <laughs> she is married but sometimes the kids miss stuff that I make and she said she really wanted my chicken pot pie. So she works with my husband. They work in the same building and I told her that I had the day off and I could make her chicken pot pie this morning, run up and see Rick on his lunch break, and then give her the pot pie. And she gets off right around his lunch time so that way she could take it right home. So she's very excited about it. And so I had to make a little adjustment to my menu plan as I mentioned last night. But I had to run out this morning, went to Dollar General. I spent $6.22 on the following items that I need to make chicken pot pie. Number one, sour cream. It's $2.75 for the big tub. Cream of chicken soup, I got the Dollar General brand, $1.10. And I'll grab potatoes, which were $2.25. Now, obviously, I could have gotten that significantly cheaper at the discount grocery, but I went to my nearest Dollar General, which is actually very, probably maybe a mile from my house because I, it's already 9.30 and I have to leave no later, well, I'm really, really close, like 11, 15-ish to get there by noon because it's like a 45 minute drive. So this is how much I love these people. <laughs> and I did not make Rick's lunch yet because I knew I was coming up there, so I told him I'd bring lunch with me. So I had no time and I must get this pot pie done. So first things first, I've got to make the pie crusts. I do have a recipe for pie crusts right here. You can check that out. And I also have a recipe that I will share for my papa. I actually have two recipes. I have my au gratin pie, which is what I'm making the au gratin one today. Although, if since I'm making two pot pies, normally you'd have two of these, but I'm stretching it because it was $2.25. And then, um, but I'm, I might put other regular potatoes in there to kind of give it the extra potato, but not as much flavor. It'll be okay. Um, and I have another pot pie that's like a from scratch pot pie recipe. So I'll put them through the video if you want to see them. Um, but anyway, let's make, let's make some pie. that we have our pie crusts ready. 
I am going to make the filling. There's that filling. <laughs> I gotta mix it all up and get it inside the pie. Okay, there is one and there is two. So we'll get the tops on these and they will go in the oven. Pies are in the oven. I have a little extra crust that's going in the fridge and I'll make maybe a pumpkin pie tomorrow. And it's actually pretty late. It's like 10.45 and it needs at least 45 minutes to cook plus time to cool. So I think we're not gonna do, I was gonna do lunch at 12, it might be 12.30. So I have time to drive. <laughs> so I'm gonna get all this cleaned up because this is a it's scratch made, kind of. So <laughs> I mean, I did use the all gratin potatoes and the cream of chicken, but a lot of, I mean, that pie crust is scratched. There is a mess everywhere and I have a ton to clean up. So I'm gonna get all this cleaned up and I gotta make Rick's lunch, but I got 45 minutes. So I should have some time and then get everything packed up and head out the door. And I gotta make my lunch too. <laughs> so I did have a banana, but you know, mama's gotta eat. So let's get all this mess cleaned up. Okay, it's literally almost dinner time and I was thinking to myself, did I film myself eating or film my lunch? And I don't think that I did. But I did eat at home, and I'm gonna show you not the food, but the dishes. <laughs> Just trying to try to be accountable, y'all. Trying to be accountable. Literally, I don't remember showing you, but I, I heated from the freezer one of these bags of the sausage and wild rice soup that I made last week, right? And so I heated it in the big thing, and then I, I ate it in that bowl. And I, I guess I just wasn't paying attention. I've been editing videos all day. Well, not all day. I mean, obviously I went and took the pot pie down to Brianna and had lunch with Rick. And I don't know if you remember, but I had to get work done on my car. Uh, well, I, it got checked last week. I got the estimate. This week I actually got the work done. So I had to borrow my mom's car again. So we gotta take my mom's car back to her today. So all that to say, I made the pot pie this morning. It's in the fridge. We're gonna have it for dinner tonight after we drop my mom's car off. But lunch, I came home because I took Rick his sandwiches and then I came home and I had soup because I was snacking on little snackies around the house in the morning. So I just wanna make sure I mention that to you because I was like sitting here finishing up my food diary edit, which it's going up, this is Friday by the way, and it is currently like a little after 5.30. I'm trying to get up. I really want them to be up at 5.30 every week, but it's looking like 6.30 at best. <laughs> so, but, um, so I was sitting here editing and I was like, did I even record my lunch? I don't know that I did because I, I sat here at the desk and edit. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that to you before actual dinner time <laughs> that I did in fact eat at home, eat homemade food and did a good job so high five me. Um, but anyway, that's that, just wanted to mention it. I'll see you when it's time for pot pie. Okay, it's dinner time, so I'm gonna show you my pie. There she is, I already cut the first two pieces. Mine and Rick's, and obviously that's just the first piece. <laughs> we're, just, we're just getting started. We're ready to have our dinner. We're gonna eat us some pie, and that's about it. <laughs> so, you guys have a good night, and come back in the morning, and we'll see you then. Good morning, everybody. I am up. Threw my shirt on that I had on yesterday. <laughs> it is a beautiful Saturday morning and I have, my house is really clean and my schoolwork for the week is done. That, that really never happens. Cause, but last week, if you remember, I, I spent a whole day like just focusing on schoolwork. So this week I'm trying to get a few of the little things I've been meaning to get done done. And uh, yesterday I made the pot pies right? Well, a lot of it, I think I showed you, spilled into my oven. So I spent this morning cleaning my oven. Look at this. She's nice and clean and heating up. And I had a little bit of pie crust dough left over. So I decided to make this pumpkin pie. I still have a little bit. I'll probably make some pie crust cookies, but look at that pumpkin pie going in the oven. Cause I remember I wanted to use up the pumpkin the other week and I didn't. So we're gonna to toss that in the oven and that will be a little something that we have for the next few days for a little treat. I'll probably make those pie crust cookies real fast. And then we'll get going with the day. It is- It's only 10 a.m. So, and my house is like so clean, I can't even believe it. Like, I don't even know what to do about it. <laughs> as soon as I wash up the pie dishes, 
then I am going to work on eBay this weekend. That's my main thing. Cause you guys know I've been buying things at thrift stores. If you haven't seen my thrift hauls, my soul, I've been buying some things at thrift stores, but I haven't had much time to get things on eBay. So my goal this weekend is to clear out my eBay list so that it's all up. So Beals Deals, if you wanna support us <laughs> and help us pay for our car repairs and things like that, but a little supporting of the channel but that's what we are on eBay and frankly on whatnot as well, but I haven't done a whatnot one yet. I need to, I've shopped on whatnot. I just haven't actually sold anything on whatnot yet. So anyway, that's my goal for this weekend. What am I going to have for lunch? I took out hot dogs yesterday. I was going to make hot dogs and chili. I probably still will. There's only one piece of the pot pie left. Rick was like devouring it last night. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, so I will have the one piece of pot pie, probably one hot dog, and I don't know if I'm gonna make the chili or not. That might be too much. But um, if I do, maybe I'll have a taste of it with the hot dog and then have the leftovers for tomorrow because I'll be home tomorrow too. So let's get the pumpkin pie in the oven and we'll continue with all of our day and I'll see you at lunchtime. Oh! In dinner, I'm supposed to be making cheesy tortillas, but I haven't found a recipe that I like yet. I'm, I'm exploring with that recipe. We'll see how that goes. I don't have any softened butter. Um, so when I'm making the pie crust cookies, normally I'll cut them out in shapes. This time I didn't do that. Look at what I did. I just took the little pieces of crust and tore them. So this is just gonna be abstract pie crust cookies. So they're just torn into bite-sized pieces. And since I didn't have any softened butter to use, I decided to go ahead and just melt some butter in the pan and what I'll do is I'll dip those pieces into the melted butter and then I'll take my beautiful cinnamon sugar and I will sprinkle it on top. They'll go in this pan and I'll toss them in the oven for a few minutes and when they're nice and firm, we'll have some cinnamon sugar pie crust cookies. And no waste. So we'll get this all cleaned up as soon as I'm done. I get these dishes clean and then we will really get busy. I might use that same pan that the butter's being melted in to heat up my hot dog. <laughs> since since it's already heated up, you know, lunch starts at 10.30 at Chick-fil-A. We'll just call it lunch and move on Thursday. charge it enough so that you guys could watch this but I did already eat my hot dog I already ate my hot dog but look pot pie is heated up those are all done and beautiful I already had one the chili is still heating up not gonna <clears throat> I'm not gonna have me on my hot dog clearly but I'll probably still have a little tiny bowl and then have some for tomorrow and the pie is finishing up so I will show you the pie but I gotta charge this battery so I'm gonna eat okay we are getting um, our lunch cleaned up I'm getting my lunch cleaned up and I'm gonna show you the pie there she is all beautiful I'm gonna wrap her up in foil put her in the fridge and we'll have her for the next few days so that's it for now and I will see you guys at dinner it's 11 o'clock at night <laughs> and um, I had I had a little health issue today and um, I'm okay but everyone felt it was best that I run to the emergency room and get everything checked out. So I ran up there. They checked everything out. And I still got to go back to the doctors later. But, you know, we're okay for now. So nobody, we haven't eaten. Rick had a burger that he paid for with his pocket money just, you know, on, on the road. Um, I wasn't eating anything, obviously. So um, we popped by the grocery store. I'm gonna show you what we got. <clears throat> this is for me. It was one ninety-eight. And a little protein for Mr. B. I might have one if I feel up to it. And these were four four thirty-eight, I think. I think 
$4.38. And then he also got this because he was about out. Maxwell House decaf. And that was actually on sale for $5.98. And if we'd have had any more money with us, then we would have probably bought several of these because that's a stinking great deal. It's the Ingalls, by the way. It'll probably be off sale by the time you see it. But $5.98 for that is a really great deal. So um, I'm going to have a little soup and go to bed. But, uh, but yeah, this is what happens when you vlog everything and then you got to be accountable. Um, normally I wouldn't talk about my personal health issues too much online. I'm still not really giving you too many details, but still, sorry. But here we are. This is, this is the situation. So <sighs> I'm going to make my soup and head to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. It's Sunday morning. I feel a little better this morning. I did make Rick's lunch. He's making coffee, obviously. I threw a little Swiss cheese on it this morning to make it a little bit more. So, he's running out the door. I gotta get it going. Okay. It is 10 a.m. So, I've had a little extra sleep, and I am still very much resting today. Um, I'm gonna make... I showed you I made Rick's lunch. I'm gonna make myself some lunch, and it will probably just be the soup <laughs> the other the noodle soup that i had last night same thing maybe some tenders um, we had the tenders last night i had a couple and rick had some with um like on bread <laughs> so it was like a, a chicken tender sandwich i guess um and so i might do that today for lunch just keep it simple keep it light you know how it goes um, and then I'm trying to just rest the rest of the day. So for dinner, we had taken out yesterday some ground turkey. I was going to make those like turkey tortillas. Rick said he wants spaghetti tonight. <laughs> he said he wants spaghetti. It's easy. It's quick. And it's not stressful. And he wants something that makes him happy. And I was like, okay, we'll do spaghetti. So I do still have my menu plan. Here she is. I've, I've really mostly been sticking to it. Um, however, I forget there was one reason or another that we had missed one day and then we missed, of course, yesterday. So today would have been lasagna soup. However, Rick said he wants spaghetti. Kind of in the same ballpark, really. So totally fine. Tomorrow is Monday. We're supposed to have sausage and potato soup with kale and garlic bread. Um, I'm going to allow him to pick from any of the meals that we haven't had because I was already prepared to make the ground turkey tortillas with corn and salsa turkey meatballs, or he can have that sausage and potato soup if he wants, but he's going to be home tomorrow. It's his day off, and I just feel like he can have any of those. I was already prepared for it, and that's cool. I'm also tomorrow going to put the whole chicken that I have in the crock pot for chicken for lunches for the next several days. So that should take us through Tuesday, which will be the end of this week, which would be really, really good this this food diaries week so um so yeah so i think i think that's how it's going to roll from here on out and i think we're still in a good place because we really haven't overspent this week at all so yeah i think we're doing pretty good now tomorrow is his day off but again we're planning on mostly staying home so i think it'll all work out really well anyway I am going to go ahead and make my lunch so I can go sit down and relax. Um, and that's that's how it's going to be. So let me get that lunch made and I'll show you what I have. Okay, well here is my lunch. Very plain soup. Obviously not homemade soup because my homemade soup is so much better. But I needed something light. So homemade, a little soup, a little sandwich, a little cracker, and that's it. And some water. I'm lights very bright but <laughs> this is it until spaghetti I'm gonna eat the eat it and rest and I'll see you guys in a little bit okay it is evening time 6 16 I just finished making our spaghetti for the night I'm gonna show it to you there it is all mixed up ready to go I will say that I'm going to try the spaghetti we'll see how it goes and if not, I still have some of that soup left from lunch and I have it in the fridge and I'll be heating that up. But I'll be eating one of the two and Rick is definitely eating the spaghetti. And so that's what we're having for dinner tonight. And tomorrow morning I have to get up and I have to go to the school and teach. And I'm hoping that everything works out well with that. 
Um, but that's what we have for today. So I know I'm, I'm kind of um, taking it slow as we speak, and I, I know, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to share with you, but at the same time, I hope you understand that I am just trying to keep the health things quiet, partially because I don't really have any answers. So I don't want to say anything when I don't really know what I'm talking about just yet. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, just, just, if you're thinking about this right now, you're watching this, pray for me. That's just a good thing to do. So anyway, Rick will be here any minute. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get all this ready on a plate and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. So I just got back from school. It's Monday morning. Um, feeling a little better today. Um, lunch. <laughs> about what I was doing my mind's been going a million places so Rick wanted to have an egg sandwich so I made him two egg and Swiss sandwiches there they are looking so beautiful I was gonna make myself a sandwich with that but then I remembered I have English muffins so I'm making myself egg sandwiches and I'm even have the leftover soup cooking I'm gonna probably nibble on that with that um, so everything is all used up trying to use everything up so this is what we're having for lunch for dinner Rick decided he wants to do turkey meatballs and baked potatoes because he loves baked potatoes so we will be doing that tonight and I got a chicken I gotta put in the crock pot for tomorrow so I'm gonna do that here in a second and that's what we're doing today and we're pretty much gonna stay home today so anyway making lunch okay it's dinner time and if I didn't mention it earlier it's the day of the eclipse and so Rick and I actually slept through the eclipse. <laughs> we lay down. It was like 2.30ish and we were like, you know, we'll try to wake up when this actual, like at its peak, we'll do whatever. And then we fell asleep and slept right through it. So it was after four when I woke up, I went and did some college stuff. And now it's after five. So my crock pot pretty much done. I just gotta pull everything out and get that ready. <sighs> because we woke up so late, I decided to change things up as I do. And we were supposed to make hamburgers tonight for tomorrow. And tomorrow we were gonna have hamburgers and french fries. Scratch that. Today we were supposed to have meatballs and mashed potatoes. Well, I'm going to still make the meatballs and mashed potatoes, but we're gonna make those today for tomorrow. <laughs> and then the hamburgers and french fries we're gonna have tonight. So, hamburgers are on the stove. There they are. Um, Right here is the tur ground turkey I'm getting ready to mash it up into meatballs. There's the fries. As soon as I get everything going, I'm gonna go ahead and peel potatoes, get that on the stove so I can make the mashed potatoes and that'll be ready for tomorrow. So tomorrow everything will just be heat and eat. And that's actually easier for tomorrow than the hamburgers and french fries because the french fries would have taken a half hour. So this will be much quicker. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all this ready. I do have, we didn't have the chili when we had our little lunch. So we'll probably have that with our dinner too, with the hamburgers. Cause I just, I ended up get, making myself an egg, two egg sandwiches because Rick's looks so good. So I had two egg sandwiches with the soup. And so we still have chili and hot dogs. <laughs> so I'll probably just, because it's gotta get used. I'll heat that up, get that out of the way. We've got the hamburgers, got the fries. And I think we're good. So yeah, this is what we're doing now. So this is Rick's plate. He has three burgers and a hot dog and fries. I have one burger, one hot dog, fries. You know, he's got a big appetite, what can I say? And <laughs> there's some chili for the dogs and meatballs are in the oven. As soon as I get done eating, I'm going to make the mashed potatoes. I'll show it to you. And I've got to take that chicken out of the crock pot. So I'm gonna hurry up and eat because we're hungry. And I'll show you that and then that'll be it for today. All right, so I have my chicken pulled out, but I did, like I did before, put my onions and celery and carrots in there. So that'll be broth. I'm not gonna pull that out till tomorrow. Um, but this is gonna go in the fridge for tomorrow for lunches. And then the meatballs, 
Ta -da! They are out also and um, I have them in a bag. They're gonna go in the fridge and that'll be ready for tomorrow. I don't have the mashed potatoes yet. I'm kind of like, it's so late and I just wanna relax. So I'm like, do I wanna make mashed potatoes right now? I don't know that I do. I might try to find something else. In fact, while I'm here, let me look. There is stove top. There is rice. I think we have a winner with rice. Rice with some gravy would be amazing with some meatballs. <laughs> so, and I don't have to pre-cook that. I can put that in the rice cooker tomorrow. So, um, so yeah, so I think that's what we're doing. And then I'll just make some kind of vegetable. Dinner served. <laughs> So anyway, all right, this is all set up, less stress for me. I'm gonna chill out with Rick and that is all for today. And tomorrow is the last day of this food diary. And then we will add up all the numbers and see how we did. It's Tuesday and it is dinner time. And it is the last day <laughs> for this video. Now, you know that I have been, I was sick this weekend. And so today I was supposed to have a follow-up visit. So. I we knew that Rick was gonna have to eat at work and that I was gonna have to eat out so we both got subs and between us we spent $23 on lunch so that's just another one of those things that couldn't be avoided I don't even feel bad about that that's just what it is we got it's currently 7 47 it's 8 p.m. so I have my broth I did take it out of the crock pot and I also went to Dollar General got instant mashed potatoes. Rick said he preferred it to the rice and I'm not eating it because I'm having more soup and uh, I only ate half of the sub that I got so I'm going to have the other half of the sub and soup. I still just need some plain things for right now and that's just what I'm doing. So um, since he was the only one eating it we thought yeah you know we'll do that. So five dollars and some change on that. So that being said I do have my dinner pretty much out. So there's Rick's mashed potatoes my soup, green beans, meatballs. They look very, very bad in that light, but they're actually good. <laughs> but, but anyway, so um, dinner is just about ready and uh, we're gonna eat. So, and my sub is in the fridge, so. Um, so that's it, we've reached the end of our four weeks. So I know that you are excited to find out like I am how we did over the last four weeks. And again, this whole experiment was for four weeks, we're gonna do food diary and hopefully by keeping track and you know being consistent and having some accountability, we will be less than the thousand dollars that we spent in February, which by the way, just throwing it out there to you. Um, for those of you who are like, wow, you used to spend so little. Um, <laughs> $1,000 is not as much as you think. $1,000 equates to $150 a week on groceries, which many of you know is probably really easy to do right now, and about $100 a week in some kind of takeout or fast food, which for two people at $25 each, that's four four trips out in a week, which isn't too terribly much. You know, you could, you could do that, no problem. I'm sure we've done that. <laughs> so, so honestly, I'm not sure how we did this month. I really am not, but we've done an honest food diary and I've shared it with you. So if you wanna find out how we did, you're gonna have to come back next Friday <laughs> because I'm still in college, I'm still working, I'm still doing student teaching, and I'm just not gonna have time to put together the video until that time. But I'm going to try to get it to you and Rick even said he'll sit down and we'll talk about it. So that should be a fun video. So come back next Friday and we'll find out how we did and see if we made any headway and try to come up, we're gonna try to come up with a new budget because we haven't had one for food in, in a long time because honestly we just had enough extra money that we were just kind of flying by the seat of our pants. But we uh, we have some things coming up. We'll talk to you about it in that video. And we're trying to get some savings together and we had, had some expenses lately. So anyway, uh, I don't know why those cabinets, oh, the cabinets are open because I was showing you this. But I'm gonna go put it back and that'll be it for today and for this video. So. Thank you guys for come hanging out with me with Food Diaries. And like I said, come back in a week and we'll see how it all turns out. And we'll see what we're doing from there. <laughs> so, you guys have a good day. See you next time.